Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, bear with me, just hang in there a little longer. We're almost to the sketching episode where I will show you how we can kind of utilize a lot of the different things that I've talked about throughout the course so far when it comes time to sit down and, and start plotting out, designing, conceptualizing some of your wand uh, designs. Now, of course, the first thing that you're gonna need, we're, today we're gonna be talking about like materials and or software to be using when it comes time to start planning out your wands. Uh, so I have a sketchbook. Be aware of the type of paper that you get. I've been drawing for years, but I still kind of goof when I got this one. The paper does kind of bunch up a little bit on itself when I erase it, so it creates kind of like these micro little balls. It just, it's it's not pretty when I need to erase stuff in this. So um, lined paper helps uh, as far as keeping things relatively straight and kind of planning it out, just use some school, old, you know, school lined paper. Graph paper works really great, has the grid, you know, vertical and horizontal lines on it, um, as far as, particularly with symmetry in your, in your designs. Printer paper, just use some print, grab some printer paper, you know, maybe you're not looking to dedicate an entire sketchbook to uh, wand designs, maybe you're not that invested. Printing paper works just fine. So when it comes to computer software, um, design software, some free options are out there. There is the open source free program, um, GIMP, G-I-M-P. I'll put a link to it in the video, or, or I'll actually I'll put a link to it in the description down below. I've never used it, but I know that it is one free. It's comparable to, say, Photoshop. Um, another free software, at least at the time of this recording, is Autodesk's Sketchbook Pro. Uh, it used to be a paid program. They had Sketchbook, which was free, and then you had to pay for Pro, but now they made Sketchbook Pro available for everyone for free as well. So again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. For either one of those, I highly recommend some sort of a digital sketch pad. Uh, this is an old Wacom uh, Intuit. Uh, I think it cost me about 90 bucks, but it's, it's years and years old, but I still use it. Of course, there's also, if you have a tablet, you know, there you go. You have your stylus. I think all you have to do is just download the software onto your tablet and then you can use it on there. And of course, if you already own or are looking to kind of go pro, um, you know, Photoshop, Creative Cloud, uh, if you're looking to really, if you're looking to invest in, in um, creating like a wand shop or something like that, or, or just if you have other design needs and stuff, uh, Creative Creative Cloud Photoshop is what I use most of the time. Um, in the, the next video, the sketching video, where I'm gonna sit down and kind of sketch out some wands and implement some of the uh, different techniques and things like that that I've discussed so far, I'll be using the free program Sketchbook Pro um, just so that you all can see, you know, what a free program like that will look like uh, you might be able to make do without the digital sketch pad and still using your mouse because they have this feature on there where it allows the a slight delay when you're moving things to create a smoother uh, arc with uh, like your mouse. Um, but for the most part, you're just you're gonna get better results if you have like a digital sketch pad or uh, if you're doing it on a tablet with a stylus. If there's anything else that I forgot to mention in this, um, I will put it in the description down below as far as, you know, things to consider as far as paper types. And then again, the, the software um, that, I, that I talked about. So the next episode, we're gonna be sitting down to start designing some, some wands, busting out some concepts. I'm really excited to sit down with you all, um, to take a look at some inspirations, to just implement a lot of the things that I've talked about in the course so far. I would love to see some of your sketches uh, at the end of the next episode. I'm sure I'll, you know, say it, I'm sure I'll reiterate that again in the next episode. Um, but just keep that in mind. I would I would love to see some submissions of your guys' uh, concepts. You can send it to vanderswans at gmail.com and also, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so and click the little bell icon down below for future notifications. And uh, I look forward to seeing you later.